Today in FIFA 23, I'm putting the best icon team up against the best world team. We're gonna have a best of five challenges in kickoff mode, career mode, Volta to decide which team is better. So let's start with showing you the squads. All the OGs of the channel know that this video is a tradition at the start of every year. Arsenal has been given the icons. This team consists of 35 of the best prime icon players in the game. And we're gonna use the 4-3-3 attack most likely for both teams. Starting with an attack of Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, and Garinchka. Pretty much the Brazilian dream attack. We also have Zidane, Luto Matias, we have Xavi. In the defense, Zanetti, Maldini, Baresi, Colzabelto, and Yashin and Net. So many incredible players down here on the bench. We're missing Pele. Um, have I just not seen is Pele not in FIFA 23? Um, comment section. Where's Pele? Am I just dumb? That is the icon team. Let's show you the world team. Manchester City is going to be home of the world squad. These are the 35 best current players in the game. And by best, I mean highest rated players in the game. We have Cristiano Ronaldo. We have Lewandowski. And we have Mbappe up front. Messi is going to be playing at Cam. We have Kevin De Bruyne. And we have Conte also in the midfield. Defense, we have Cancelo, Virgil van Dijk, Diaz, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and then not Ederson in that. I don't know why he's there. We'll go with the goalkeeper of the year, Thibaut Courtois. Very tempted to try to find a way to fit Benzema into this team. You know what? Hold on. Hold on, boys. We're making a switch. Wow, for the first time, I think since I started this series, I don't think I'm playing Ronaldo in the starting 11. This is actually crazy. Benzema will be in. We'll throw Messi at right wing, Mbappe at left wing, and then Benzema will play Cam. No Ronaldo in the starting 11. Let's now get into the best of five challenges to see who will win the world team or the icon team. So this first challenge, you guys know how it works. We've created the World Cup here and we've added both of our world and icon team. Whichever team makes it further in the World Cup wins challenge one. So let's show you guys the groups before we begin. Group A might be one of the easiest groups I've ever seen in my entire life. Here's group B. We do have the icon team and they've been matched up against England, Romania, and Scotland. All right, let's keep scrolling until we find the world team. I feel like that icon group though is pretty easy for the most part. They should make it out. Brazil, USA, Qatar, Czech Republic, and group B. The world team is not off to a good start. They've been put in a group of death with the Netherlands, Sweden, and Italy. We also have group G and group A. H. We're now going to send through the group stage to see which teams made it out. All right, here we go. Starting in group A, Canada and Hungary have made it through. The icon teams made it through as well, but second place, England. Wow, who would have thought? I England, the national team, is better than a full team of icons. Oh my God. We got Portugal and Ireland from group C. In group D, we have Poland and Croatia. In group E, we have Brazil and the Czech Republic. No USA making it through. And then in group F, the world team has topped their group with five points. Also, Mexico and Austria making it through, Argentina have been grouped, and then Germany and Ghana. So some crazy matchups here. The icons are playing Brazil, and the world team is playing Croatia. Let's now go game by game in the group stage to see which of the teams is going to win this challenge. This is Brazil versus the icons, and the icons are through 3-0. Oh yeah, look at the Brazil team. I always forget, I don't know why, but EA fills the Brazil national team with fake players, so that was an easy win for the icons. And the world team going up against Croatia. Croatia. Here we go. Let's simulate it. Oh, man. Well, they win. Croatia. Oh, my God. Croatia has just beat a team of the best players in the world. Meaning the challenge number one goes to the icons. For the sake of this video, though, let's just see how far this icon team can make it. They have Poland next. They do end up beating Poland three to two. Look at this. Czech Republic in the semifinals. If they win this, they're going to the World Cup final, and they do. And in the World Cup final, it is icons versus Croatia. The winner is the icons have gone on and won the World Cup. With one challenge complete, the icons lead the world one to zero on to challenge number two do you guys know how this challenge works we are going head to head on kickoff mode so check out the world team or manchester city they have 90 attack 89 midfield and 88 defending then there's the icons 94 attack 94 midfield 93 defending they're just so much better we are however playing this match on no rules mode so anything could happen all right boys let's get into this match make sure to put your predictions down below on who you think is gonna win this video i love a good underdog you guys know that about me so even though they're losing i'm predicting the world team will win we got ronaldo on the same pitch as wait we don't have ronaldo on the same pitch as ronaldo which I was gonna say because one ronaldo is on the bench huh? this ronaldo is playing enough the intros let's get into this game world team i need a w here let's go this is the only time you guys will see me rooting for manchester city trust me first chance world team ronaldo in but dude are they, if they score on their first chance i'm low-key gonna be mad dude Ronaldo just slid across the whole team. What was that? All right, Ronaldo. 
26 minutes. Kevin De Bruyne comes in with a slide tackle, and I almost yelled at the ref, but then I just remember we're in no rules mode. Hopefully, the players, like, look at that tackle, too. Oh, I love no rules mode. The players, like, know that they're allowed to make tackles. They need to be, like, offside markers. Players can be offside. Benzema, let's go! The man just won the Valley Door in real life, and he's scoring goals like this. Let's go. Poor Yashin, man. Oh, Kareem the Dream. Benzema, look at this. How much, how, what was the speed on this ball right here? 16 meters outside. Banging it in near post. And the world team is in front 1-0. Back to what I was saying before that goal, though. Like, players are allowed to just, like, they, they could just be a mile offside. Genuinely. They could just stand next to the goalkeeper and get the ball past them. And it would be allowed since it's no rules. Here comes Icon FC. Zidane needs it on. This doesn't look good. Look at that tackle. Come on. Dude, no rules. We need to do every kickoff game like this on no rules mode. All right, Grinchka. Can we see another crazy tackle here? Okay, we'll see a nice block. All right, this is probably going to be the last chance. We're already into the 48th minute. Courtois with the save and that is gonna do it for the first half world team is out in front and they wouldn't be winning if it weren't for all those insane slide tackles being put in one nil that's a good start man I'll take it into half number two it's messy can we make it two no right at the start of the half Lewandowski are you gonna go for Benzema we're gonna go for Lewandowski it's two nil hey I told you guys I had a feeling that the world team was gonna make a comeback and they are off to a good one that is a nice goal there's still time though icons Virgil van Dijk again, bro. He's made so many illegal tackles this game. It's wild. Can the world get another? Oh, now the Icon team. They're trying to come in with some crazy tackles. Here it is. Messi. De Bruyne passes it back to Benzema. Into De Bruyne. Another tackle. Quack. Messi with... Did that go in? No way. He... How did he score from that angle? What? Please, someone tell me how he scored this. Wait, I'm so... Hello? No. Oh, it hit off Yashin and went in. Bro, what is that goalkeeping? Isn't Yashin supposed to be the best goalkeeper of all time? I thought the ball went out, too. He parried it into his own net. Oh, man. Are these really icons? That was so bad. Robbie Lewandowski to make it four. Dude, how are the world team so good all of a sudden? This is going to be the last chance for the icons. There's no possible way nope. they can win this game. Oh, my God. And then Kinsella with the goal line clearance. That will do it for the game. Surprisingly, the icons only ended with, like, two shots all game. Hold on. Before we end, you know what I understand about no rules? There's no rules. Anything goes. Why don't the players just, like, pick up the ball and run with it? I think they should be able to do that. All right, after two challenges, we are now tied at one apiece for the Icons and the World Team. On to challenge number three, boys. So this challenge, everyone knows, is career mode. We're going to add both teams into the Champions League, which they're now both in. And whichever team makes it further in the Champions League wins this current leg. We're now going to go ahead and sim the season till the very end of the season to get our winner for challenge number three. Okay, we made it to June 2023. Let's look at these Champions League groups starting with which one would have been first. Um, I'm looking for our world, Arsenal and Man City. There we go. We have the world team topping their group. Oh, and I missed the icons in group D. They've also topped their group, both with 16 points. Now, whichever one makes it further will win this challenge. Challenge. Here we go, round of 16. The icons. Oh, no, they've just won it. The world team has lost to Madrid. See, this is what I don't get. The world team is a collection of all the best footballers in the world. I've taken all of Real Madrid's best players and put them on the world team. And somehow Real Madrid still wins. This is rigged, man. And even the icon team full of all of the best icons in the world found a way to lose to Barcelona. This is this game is so rigged. Well, either way, after three challenges, the icons lead to one in to challenge number four let's run this boys this is like four this is volta it is first to three goals will win this challenge near the starting lineups remember starting fives are randomized in volta world team looking pretty good in bape lewa and here's the icon team they got dino up there they have ronaldo all right we got a new volta stadium as well so let's go so unlike some of the volta challenges they've done in the past where we have third three minute halves i believe this is three minute halves, but the first team to three goals is going to win. And we also have giant goals, and we have Mbappe ripping the first shot. Still on it is Lewandowski. Look how massive the goal is. Yashin with a save. Shout out to EA for adding these giant nets this year in Volta. Um, I think it's made things a lot better, in my opinion. And remember, boys, if the Icon team wins this one, they win the video, and they're up 1-0 to start. It's R9 Ronaldo. This was just too easy. Look at this. Pass wide open and with the big net he's never missing world team you've managed to come back after losing the first challenge you can't choke here what didn't why didn't Bumpy just shoot that yes virgil with the header oh he's missed it here is another chance maldini courtois yes goalkeeper of the year courtois coming up with a big save and another one. Oh, this man's crazy can he make a third save right here third save dino he's made up 
Dude, you can't make this stuff up. Courtois is the goalkeeper of the year for a reason. Right, Baracy, Maldini. Oh, it's the crossbar. World team is making saves, but they're struggling, man. This game could easily be over now if it weren't for Courtois. Come on. Push up, boys. We need a goal here, world team. Fast break. Oh, he's through. It's Maldini. And Courtois can't save that one. R.I.P. Look at this. From a center back as well. First time. That's a crazy finish. Here comes Mbappe. Come on. Start the comeback, Mbappe. That, that's not going to do it. They need to score three unanswered goals to win this game. If the icons score just one more, the video is over. Lewa. He's going for skill. Okay. I respect it. Will it work? He should have just shot the ball right there. They're trying too much. The world team. They're trying. Why are What is going on? Why are they terrible in Volta? Here we go. Cross. Virgil misses. And Bobbe saved. Corner in. Virgil tries for the volley and literally whiffs the ball. And here comes the counterattack for the win. Maldini puts it in. And just like that, the icons have done it. They go on and win this challenge. 3-0, bro. The world team played so well in kickoff, but they choked in Volta. And that is it for this video. The icons win 3-1. Comment down below which challenge I should do next for the All-Star Challenge. Click to watch last week's All-Star Challenge video, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.